Welcome back. I want to talk to you about color perception. It's pretty wild. I told you that color perception relies on cones, and it turns out there are three kinds of cones. 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 Three kinds of cones. There's a cone that's sensitive to short wavelengths. We call that blue cones. There's a cone that's sensitive to medium wavelengths. We sort of informally refer to that as green. And there are a set of cones sensitive to red or long wavelength light. Now I'm, I'm being sloppy by saying uh, blue, green, red, because all we really know is uh, that these different kinds of cones respond maximally to wavelengths of light um, that are either short, medium, or long. There's no way for me to know that my experience of a wavelength of 450 nanometers is the same as your experience of the color of a light with a wavelength of 450 nanometers. Actually, there's, whole, there's a whole field of philosophy trying to understand if I say something is blue and you say something is blue, what does that mean? How do we know that, how do we know that my experience of blue is anything like your experience of blue? Anyway, we call it the idea that there are three different kinds of cones. We call that the trichromatic color perception, three cones. Okay. I'm sure you've heard the term color blindness. And the term is, it's a bad term. It shouldn't be used. It's a misnomer. Um, because people who are color blind see color, right? The idea of the term color blindness makes you think that color blind people uh, see the world in black and white. They don't. They see the world in color, but it's different. It is possible. There are a very, very small number of people who see the world in black and white. Um, usually, or shades of gray, I shouldn't say black and white, I should say shades of gray. Usually, when we say color blindness, a vast majority of the time, it's people who have, instead of three cones, they have two. Um, and there are um, three different ways that you could have two cones, right? You could have uh, red and green and not blue. You could have blue and green and not red, etc. There are names for those um, different types of dichromats or people with two cones. Uh, and there are color tests that you can use uh, to identify what kind of color blindness someone has. Um, but color blind people see color the vast majority of the time. Now, um, typical vision is what we think is experienced, typical color vision we think is what's experienced by about 90% of men and about nearly all of women, 99.6% of women. So uh, color blindness is much more common amongst men than women. Um, and it turns out that uh, the kind of, again, color blindness um, that's found, that results from problems with a green cone is most common. Um, red cone problems are next and blue cone problems are the most rare. Um, I've got some words written in colors here, and it's to try to get you a sense, give you a sense of what the world looks like for colorblind people. So the first set of row, that's typical vision, red, green, yellow. Um, the middle two, the red cone problem and the green cone problem look pretty similar. And what you see is it's, you know, the red is very different. Um, yellow's pretty much the same. Green is quite different. Blue looks about right. The purples are funny because of the red. Um, for colorblind people, the, the, the small number of dichromats who are dichromats because there's a problem with their blue cones, um, they see color very differently from the other two types of dichromats. Um, they see red very well, um, but anything with that's greenish or yellowish, that's, that's a problem. So this is um, our best way of explaining how 
typical color vision is experienced and how atypical dichromatic color vision is experienced. Um, and I also want to show you, uh, as people always ask me, well, what about dogs? Do dogs see in color? Yes, they absolutely do. Dogs are not colorblind. They are dichromats, typically. It's not that they're uh, uh, trichromats and then there's unusual dogs. No, dogs are dichromats. And so a dog, um, uh, dogs do see color. You can see the comparison between what dogs see and what humans see right here. Um, I guess the biggest difference there is, is the red, you know, and the, the greenish too, but yeah, the, anything with red. I don't know if you're going to get a lot out of buying your dog red toys, um, but that's color vision in people and dogs. Bye.